Today I'd like to show you what we bought Ashley for Christmas. Uh, Ashley is our 21 year old daughter and uh, so we have uh, a variety of things. So I will probably just, um, I will start off with the clothes. She ordered these way back. I don't think she even remembers that she ordered them. JCPenney was having a sale and she really liked these shirts. And so I said, I will pay for them because you like them so much. I will pay for them if you let me put them up for Christmas. So uh, we bought her one in black and these are, um, these are dressy. These, uh, the brand is Liz Claiborne. And I don't even remember how much they were. I just remember that they were on sale. So she bought a black and a green and then here's the blue and they're all exactly the same. She knows that she likes them. She knows they, they look good on her. And uh, so I'm glad she ordered three while they were on sale. Also, I bought these for her and I kept the receipt just in case she wants to take them back because they were expensive. These are from Victoria's Secret. They are high waist ankle leggings and I'll tell you how much they were. They were $47, and I think that's a lot for a pair of leggings, but um, they do say pink on them, and I thought the leg on those was just, I thought it was really cool. I don't know if you can see that, that detail on the leg, the little like string hanging off. Hopefully that won't get on her nerves, but I think, um, I think these are really nice looking leggings and they have a, a pocket on each side uh, so if you want to stick your phone in there or whatever you can so like i said i kept the receipt so if she wants to to take that back she those back she can i think they're they're adorable and then okay this is gonna seem weird but um this i bought this is a size like three is it a 3X or a 2X? This is a 3X. And the reason I bought this for her is because Ashley's favorite night shirt is a, like a 3X t-shirt that, or maybe even a 2X t-shirt that we've had since, gosh, probably since 2005, seriously. And uh, way back before Kevin and I started losing weight, it is an old shirt and we bought it and we never neither one of us it was meant for kevin but i don't think he ever wore it because it just it just didn't look good so ashley has used it as a night shirt well this thing has holes in it horrible holes everywhere and it is time for it to be retired so we bought her this 3x kentucky shirt to take the place of what she has and uh, so that should hopefully be her new night shirt and then I saw this and I ordered it. I had to have it. Uh, what is the company name? Uh, oh, okay. I ordered this one from Amazon. Okay. Because there was a company that had this, but it was cheaper on Amazon. Uh, I remember that now. It says, <laughs> this is Ashley. I mean, truly, this is Ashley. I just want to love Jesus and take naps. That is our daughter in a nutshell. That's Ashley. That's all she wants to do. So <laughs> I think she will get a total kick out of that. She won't be expecting that at all. I think she will love it. Uh, we are giving her, she loves Tsum Tsums. So I am going to uh, give her like a Tsum Tsum themed box. And so all of these things I'm gonna show you now are gonna be in one box. I bought her, these are from like the, the $3 area at Target. And they, you get a, um, a pouch and a notebook and uh, paper clips and ruler and highlighters and they're stationary sets. And then I went back and this was only a dollar at Target and it's another stationary set. So she can just put these in her desk, whatever she wants to do. This is the Disney Tsum Tsum Pastel Parade. It's a limited edition gift set. And it is, I think it's lip balm, isn't it? 
So, uh, let's see. I can't... Is it lip balm? You know, I swear it doesn't say what it is. But I know it's lip balm. Because you can tell they're hard plastic and they open. But limited edition uh, figures is what it says. Not an actual food. Do not eat. I swear it doesn't say it's a lip balm though, but I'm almost positive that they're lip balms. Okay, and then also we found her this throw. She's going to be crazy about this throw. It's a Royal Plush Rachel Throw. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And one more thing for that box. Now you might not think that Ashley would use this. This is a, uh, a dinner set. But she will. Ashley will totally love this. You get a cup and a bowl and a plate. And Ashley will eat off of that plate. That plate is adorable. I wish you could see it better. Um, Ashley will be eating off of this plate and out of this bowl every night. She truly will. She will absolutely love that. And then, uh, she, these are things that she requested. She, uh, Josie and the Pussycats, when she was growing up, she watched it about a million times. So she requested that we buy her the DVD and the soundtrack. And I said, if I buy that for you, are you going to actually listen to it? And she said, oh yeah, I will take that in, in my car and I will listen to that every day. So, um, I got her those. And then we, she likes, uh, she really likes the Soap and Glory. Uh, we bought her the uh, Soap and Glory Smoothie. This is the Oat Sugar and Chia Breakfast Scrub. And then this one is the, the Righteous Butter. So last year we gave her a box with a bunch of different things from Soap and Glory. This year we just bought her the two uh, that we knew she liked the best. And then from Bath and Body Works, I bought her some pink confetti lotion and the shower gel. And we're going to give her like a Pioneer Woman. This is really not a, a gift box, I guess, because there's only three things. But it's I'm going to put all three of these in one box. Uh, this is uh, the Pioneer Woman. These are kitchen towels. And I gave Christina a set of kitchen towels just like this. Even though Ashley is living at home right now, I still bought these things for her because she loves the Pioneer Woman and these styles change. So like this design will go away and they won't have this um, next year, I don't believe. I think the styles change all the time. And I bought her a Pioneer Woman. Uh, this is measuring spoons. Hopefully you can see those. I have a window over here. So, um, and then the last Pioneer Woman thing is a um, ceramic measuring scoop set. And I'll show you the back or maybe the side. Maybe you can see it better there. Um, Ashley requested a lot of books. She actually made a list out of books that she would like to have and then some books that we bought we just saw and thought she would like these um sorry if you hear guido barking in the background <laughs> i'm upstairs and anytime i come upstairs he barks like i'm never coming back so that's his way of yelling for me um but Ashley is going into, uh, she's going to school to be a teacher. She's going into education. And uh, although she does not know what grade she will get, she knows that uh, she wants elementary school. So she, like I said, she made out a list and she told us, she said, these are going to be books that are going, going to go in my classroom. She said, so I don't care if you buy them new or used. So, and she might change her mind when she sees how nice some of them are. But we did buy used because I do not, I personally don't have a problem with going to half price books and buying somebody a book for Christmas and giving it to them even though it's been used. I, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, when my mom was still alive, I bought her a set of the guidepost, um, 
forget like guide, guide posts for daily living or something like that uh, but I bought her like five or six of those and those were all used but she loved them she didn't care they were in excellent condition so I don't you know don't let that stop you from giving it to somebody even uh, if it's used as long as it's in good shape okay with all that said, I'm going to show you the books. We bought her this set. This is a, this is a new set. This is the Beverly Cleary, uh, the Ramona collection. Actually, this is not new. This was a U set, the Ramona collection. And it has Ramona and her father, Ramona and her mother, Ramona Forever, and Ramona's World. And uh, that was bought at Half Price Books. Also, Sideways Stories from Wayside School. That was one that she requested. Judy Bloom, Tales of Fourth Grade Nothing. Judy Bloom, otherwise known as Sheila the Great. Judy Bloom, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Judy Bloom, Blubber. And then uh, the mouse and the motorcycle, Beverly Cleary. And let's see, it looks like there are a bunch of Beverly Cleary books. There is, um, and I'm hoping I'm going to show you, oh, here's another Judy Bloom. Judy Bloom, then again, maybe I won't. And I read all these when I was in school, but I don't remember, I don't remember about them, so... Uh, then there, like I said, there's the Ramona books. There, we bought Ramona the Brave, Beezus and Ramona, Ramona the Pest, and Ramona Quimbley, age eight. Uh, we bought Evie White, Charlotte's Web. Uh, this one uh, is called Spelling Bee and the Trouble with Secrets. I think I just saw that and thought it looked cool. There are other ones available, but this is the only one that I bought. Uh, Ashley requested this one. It's called Hatchet. She requested this. It's The Door in the Wall, and I actually had to go on eBay and buy this one because I did not, um, could not find it anywhere. So I had to, to order that from eBay, and it is used. It is uh, 1949. Well, she won't want that in a classroom. I mean, you can tell it's really old. I don't know that she'll want to share that one. Um, I bought this one for her because this one was one of my favorites when I was in middle school. It is S.C. E. Hinton, The Outsiders, and I liked all the S.C. E. Hinton books, but uh, this is the, um, the one that we could find. Uh, this I bought because I just thought it looked cool. It's a uh, Meg Cabot from the Notebooks of a Middle School Princess. And I just thought that looked like something that um, uh, someone would enjoy reading. I, I thought it, it looked like a, a cute little book. Then we bought her the Judy Moody books. There are actually eight books here. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. There are eight books here in the set. Judy Moody goes to college around the world in eight and a half days, declares independence, the doctor is in, predicts the future, saves the world, gets famous, and was in a mood. So all of those. And I would say Ashley will read will read these for herself before she puts them out in a classroom. Um, I'm sure that when we give her these for Christmas, she will lay in her bed and read these. I hope that she will. Um, this is one that I ordered for her. These are new, but I thought that, I just thought she would like them. It's the Enchanted Forest Chronicles. It's Patricia C. Red, W-R-E-D-E. -E. I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong and I apologize. Uh, you have Dealing with Dragons. Searching for Dragons, Calling on Dragons, and Talking to Dragons. Uh, Ashley actually loves dealing with dragons, and so I thought it was neat to get the, the collection. And 
then she loves Eric Carl. So we we found this Eric Carl, the Eric Carl Library. It's featuring eight classic board books. This was at Costco and it was $16 at Costco. And it has eight books. It has The Greedy Python, The Foolish Tortoise, Roosters Off to See the World, Walter the Baker, A House for Hermit Crab, Pancakes, Pancakes, Hello Red Fox, and The Tiny Seed. I don't think I've read any of those. So if she opens these and makes them available to me, I will have to read them on my channel because I like Eric Carl books too. I don't know how many Eric Carl books I've, I've read on the channel, so have no idea. This one, uh, this one was one that we ordered from Amazon. This is the Jenny B. Jones Books in a Bus. It is books one through 28. And this, uh, oh, Ashley had all the, she actually had a lot of the Jenny B. Jones books when she was growing up. And on book character day, uh, she dressed up as Jenny B. Jones, which was just really, um, uh, like a little corduroy dress, but I mean, still, that's who she wanted to be on book character day was Jenny B. Jones. Um, but so this is a very, very nice collection, and I think that she will enjoy um, reading those again. Then this is a book. Um, this is a book that she requested. She loaned this book to a friend and she dearly loved this book and i think she had marked pages and uh, marked uh, sentences and everything in it and the friend told her that uh, she would give it back she would return it and uh, she did not she never returned the book but this is called kisses from katie it was by uh, katie davis and uh, it's just a very very special book to ashley and ashley Ashley would have liked to have had her book back, uh, but uh, that just did not happen, so um, I ordered her a new one. And then the newest one came out by Katie Davis, and it is called Daring to Hope. And Ashley has not read this one yet, so out of all the books we got for her, this will probably be the first one that she'll read because uh, she uh, has not read that and she loves Katie Davis and if Katie Davis is a um, uh, was a missionary but now she she lives there she where is it she um, she started a school Uganda she started a school and everything and so now she lives there and she's married and so um, and so Ashley will love those we also bought her, and I've never bought anything like this for anybody. We bought her a spa day. And this is the place. It's Zion Salon and Day Spa. What we did was we went on the internet. We looked for places in Lexington. And we actually looked, uh, we read the reviews. And we looked for the best, the spa with the best reviews. And this was the one that we chose. Um, we actually picked the classic pa package. Uh, she will get a 30 minute massage, a 30 minute facial, a pedicure and a manicure. And that was $135. And I think that that will really surprise her because, like I said, we've never bought anything like that before. That's totally new to us. Um, then Ashley actually picked these out. These are Reebok tennis shoes. And I told her, I said, I will pay for them, but you have to put them away until Christmas. And it's only a few weeks away. So these were on sale. Normally, she said they're like $135. They were $60 at Dick's Sporting Goods. And she has a pair of pants that'll go perfect, a pair of leggings that'll go perfect with those. Um, those are, I don't know, they're called Reebok Print Run Prime. They're a running shoe, so... We have those. Then uh, she um, she probably doesn't even remember what this looks like. Uh, she fell in love with this comforter. She needs a new comforter. Hers is um, several years old, and so she went on Macy's, the Macy's website, 
and uh, she fell in love with this one. It um, is a Martha Stewart 10 piece comforter set. It is a queen size and you probably can't tell much about it, but that's it. That's, that's the comforter. <laughs> and um, now I have a quite a large box to go through and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this properly. I hope that I can. Ashley gets emails from teacher, teacher supply stores and a teacher supply store at the beginning of the school year was having a sale and um, she really wanted some of these supplies. And uh, I told her, I said, I will pay for them, but we have to put them up, you know, like I do with everything. I don't mind paying for it at all, you knowing what it is, but we're gonna put it up in the attic. So I'm just gonna start going through these things uh, because it's a lot. Uh, this is Brain Breaks Curriculum Cutouts. These are modern manuscript all-in-one desk plates and she looks like she got two of those and then this is it says the uh, pocket chart deluxe money and it has fake money on the back this is how it looks okay this is a venn diagram Looks like that. Carson DeLosa is the name of the place that she ordered this stuff from. Carson DeLosa. Uh, and then it looks like she also ordered from Creative Teaching Press. And I wish I remembered which was which because one of them was really quick when they were doing their shipping and one was like slower than molasses. I mean, it, it didn't matter. It's a good thing it didn't matter though um, uh, because um, you know, it was for Christmas, but if you had wanted it for the school year, it would have taken forever. Okay, then it looks like she got some, oh, this is a free gift. Well, she'll be happy with that. Poppy Red, there are, these are uppercase letters, and it was a free gift uh, with her order. And then Game Cards, it says, you did it, well done, and congratulations. So there's those, and then Bravo, it looks like, is on there. And then this is a great big thick, this has um, rubber bands on it, but I'll, I'll take it out of the rubber bands. <laughs> I hate to do that, but, but I will. Okay, so I can show you. Okay, this is a, a literary element. And this is that. And these are big long things. Okay. Then you have one that says reading think alouds. And it looks like this. And then we have become a better writer. And this and these are i guess all things that you hang up on the wall to motivate the kids story elements <laughs> this has the three little pigs on it but there's different ones it's there's a picture on the back okay and then you have happy birthday that's cute that is so cute And then you have signpost, and I guess you just, this is your signpost, and you can put anything you want on it. And then the last one that's like this is uh, maps and map skills. Um, and then you have this, and this is what it looks like. Okay, and then it looks like a bunch of uh, borders, and these are in 
these are red rubber bands too we got these in way back in like september august or september and i haven't looked at them okay so she got two of these these are adorable these are you put around your bulletin board so cute you know you could buy these if you um didn't want to hang wallpaper if you were like living in an apartment you could take these and you stick uh, the the uh, pins like you put in a bulletin board you could buy the clear ones and you could put these around the room to decorate if you're in an apartment and you can't paint and then she bought these trees I don't know why she liked the trees so much, but she bought two of the trees. And then this is bigger. This is a calendar set. And it looks like that on the front. And then on the back, looks like that. I like that uh, a big stump. That's cute. Okay, and then this is a bulletin board set, Spring and Summer Accents. And these are just huge. They're, um, I'm probably not doing them justice if I hold them up. Uh, traits of Good Writing. That looks like that. And you hang these up. So Ashley's gonna like to have a lot of colorful walls. Graphic organizers. And the back. And this says graphic organizers. I don't know why you would need two, but she got two anyway. She got two. Oh, and the last one. This is one that I like this one. Halloween. <laughs> it's a Halloween bulletin board set. And so that is all the teacher supplies she ordered. And then the last thing she's going to get is uh, she's going to get $340 cash. I know that sounds like a very odd amount. However, um, that was the difference between her and her brother. We try to keep uh, her and Andrew, we try to keep them around the same amount. And this time there was $340 separating the two of them. And so we made sure that we gave her that money. And she, I know, will use that towards next semester, towards buying books or something like that. So it's not like, you know, she's going to go wild spending it or anything. And we told her, we said, you know, buy yourself some Christmas presents. Um, go out and get you some things. And um, she didn't. And so that's what she has. So I hope you all enjoyed the video, um, seeing what Ashley got for Christmas. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and thanks for watching.